Hello everybody and welcome back to Robert's Reviews. Today we are sort of continuing the Steve Carell series. As promised, Steve Carell movies typically come out on Thursdays. This one's technically not a Steve Carell movie, so I'm not going to add it into the playlist and I'm not going to add it in my master sheet um, because he's really not in it. He's in it for the last like five seconds. But I have to watch this movie in order to, I, th I believe, understand what's happening in this movie 3. I'm not entirely sure, but I watched it just in case and I figured I'd review it because that's what I do. So today, we're going to be talking about Minions. Minions came out in 2015. It was written by Brian Lynch and directed by Pierre Coffin and Kyle Balda. For those of you who don't know, uh, Pierre Coffin is the voice of the Minions, so it's interesting that he directed this as well. Um, so I'm not going to talk about any voice acting here because, uh, to be honest, there isn't a lot. Uh, a lot of it's just the Minions. Uh, there's a couple voices in there by some pretty well-known people, um, but none of them were important, I think, enough for me to talk about them today because it's an animated movie and I'm not watching it for a particular voice. So... This movie's like an hour and a half long, okay? And it does not bring you into the movie at all. I suppose this is more of a kid's movie. Um, whereas when I watch this movie with me, that is definitely more of a, you know, family movie. This is definitely more aimed towards children, which is a problem, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I looked at the rating for the film, and I don't remember, because I always check ratings before I start watching the film just so I know what I'm getting into. I think it was rated G which means general audiences, which means that you can go to the movie theater without a parent. Uh, you don't need to watch this. If you watch this, you're technically, you don't need parent permission for this, which is ridiculous. There is some stuff in this movie that is very PG, which is parental guidance. PG is for family movies that you watch with a family for a purpose, right? Whereas G, for general audiences, you can watch you know, by yourself as a kid and, like, be fine. Like, if I put this on the television, I should be able to go take a conference call if I have to. Um, I, I did an essay on school um, about the MPAA ratings, and I'm very interested in that kind of stuff, so I know a lot about it. And so the fact that this is rated G is ridiculous, okay, because there's gun violence, there's bank robberies, like actual bank robberies. Um, there is, like, almost nakedness. There's ass slapping. Um... Honestly, it's it's just not a G movie. PG, sure, I can see it being PG. For this to be a G movie, this is kind of and like I don't want to be like you know a Karen here because I'm not a Karen, but I do want it noted that if you are a parent and you are worried about your child perhaps picking up a gun violence issue, um, this might not be the one for you um, because it's not even like. A character gun where, like, you know, they have freeze ray with uh, Disagreeable Me. And uh, this one, they just have an actual gun and they go in and shoot up a bank. So, uh, even though it is cartoon, it's still a real issue that shouldn't be in a, a G rated movie. PG, sure. Because the parents will be like, alright, listen, that's fake, it's a cartoon, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that it's in a cartoon and they don't have any, it's just showing us funny. And that's not, that's just one instance I chose to talk about. There's a few in this movie that are just kind of inappropriate. But regardless, I figured I should bring that up. Moving on to the plot, well, there isn't one, really. So, <laughs> basically what happens is the minions are, uh, we, we follow them from, like, the Jurassic period through now, uh, when he meets Gru. So, in that time, they, their only goal for the minions, for some reason, is to find a boss who is evil. And they want to continue doing whatever they can to make sure that that boss can continue to do evil things. Fine, whatever. So, I, I, I it's a cartoon, so I can't complain too much. The art style isn't as good as the Despicable Me one. Um, it actually seems to be more cartoony, which I can see because it is becoming, you know, that is a rated G movie, whereas I'm pretty confident Despicable Me is a PG. Um, so the younger they get, the typically the more cartoonish it looks because, for one, if it's for general audiences, they don't really need to have a big budget. I'm assuming this had a relatively low budget because it's short, um, and the cartoon animation style isn't as crystal clear as previous movies. I honestly don't really know why we had this movie. We probably could have done without it, like, quite easily. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it sets something up for Despicable Me 3. Uh, I don't think it will, but maybe it will. I know it set up Minions 2, The Rise of Gru, which doesn't come out yet, I think. It's in the future. I'm uh, pretty sure it's a future movie in, like, June or July or whatever. I have it written down somewhere. But the issue, uh, wh where I'm getting here, 
is the art style does not look particularly good and the plot isn't very good. I spent an hour and a half watching this. Uh, it was an hour and a half long movie. I spent about two and a half hours watching it because I would pause it and then take naps. Because, for one, I've been up really early today and I've been doing a lot of YouTube stuff. Um, for, I've been fil I'm filming this on like the 29th of January, um, which I realize is pretty far ahead. So I'm getting ahead because I've got school and I'm going to need to take a couple weeks off. Um, but I want there to be content for you guys. Um, as promised, there will be. There will be no stops in this channel. I don't care if I get COVID a third time, I will be doing this. Um, I, I had some issues watching this movie because it's so dry. A lot of it is just guessing what the minions say. They don't have, like, subtitles for what they say. They do when it's English, because they, they do speak a little English in this movie, which we don't really see in Despicable Me or Despicable Me 2, um, which kind of bothers me. They only say, banana. That's, like, the only thing you really hear from them in the first couple movies. But here they they say, like, actual words sometimes, um, which I feel like should carry over into Despicable Me, but it doesn't, so that's kind of dumb. Uh, so really, it's just them, bye-bye, bye-bye. They're just, like, talking the weirdest language, minionese or whatever. I had subtitles on, don't get me wrong, so whenever there was English, I, I could read the, the English subtitles, but when the minions were just speaking minionese, it only said they speak minionese, so it's really annoying because you have to kind of follow the plot based on what the English says and like where they're pointing and stuff like that, which is fine uh, for me. Like I was able to absorb everything that happened. There wasn't much that happened, but I was able to absorb it all. But a child would not have been able to absorb all that. They'd be kind of confused. Um, and although I guess the idea of it being a childish movie is because they want them to have to not have to focus on plot more so than just like follow the characters. But I am judging it like a movie because it is a movie. And I'm judging it like I'm watching because I watched it. Um, I think that there's like the, the end of the plot was kind of good. Where like he stole the crown and like he became the king. And then I liked the evil girl. I forget her name already because... Um, it, was, it wasn't very important. Um, I liked those two people, um, the two evil people. I liked it a lot. I actually really liked that villain. I kind of wish that villain was in a Despicable Me movie that wasn't Minions because I'd like to see Gru face off against a women uh, uh, antagonist. Uh, we haven't seen that yet. I'm assuming they're not going to have one in Despicable Me 3, but we will see. Overall, um, I don't think this is a very good movie. Um, I think it was fine, and like, I am going to give it a little bit higher of a grade than I normally would if I were judging it like myself, because it, it does appeal to children, um, and it probably made a lot of money because they like minions. Um, but I personally did not really enjoy the movie, and so I'm going to have to give it a C+. But that's going to do it for me today because I'm tired. It's going to be more of a shorter video. I'm tired. I filmed like four videos today. This is the same day that the little things came out and all that stuff, so... It's been a really busy day for me, um, but I watched this today because I wanted to make sure I got ahead because I do have school going on and school is already starting to kind of kick my ass, um, but we're pushing through, we're doing all right, and uh, the show will go on, there will be no stops to my YouTube channel. That is a 100% guarantee, um, for sure. I've already got weeks scheduled ahead by now. Like right now, I'm already scheduled... Um, all the way to the 15th, so I'm almost a month ahead, which is really nice. Um, and then, of course, as new releases come up, like, as in, like, HBO Max and stuff, I will film reviews for those when they come out. Like, the little things, when they came, when that came out, I watched it, filmed it, and did release it. If there's any movie coming out on any streaming services that you want me to look at, um, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and I'll add it to my release schedule, where I can watch it when it comes out and do that. I The only streaming platform that I'm familiar with that does all same-day releases is HBO Max. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. I have almost all streaming services. Um, the only one I don't have right now is Peacock. I don't have... Um, I, don't, I have the free version of Peacock. I don't have the, the paid version of Peacock. Um, and I don't have uh, Discovery Plus, but I'm never going to get that. There's no reason to. Um, but yeah, that's uh, really all I have to do today. That's all I have to talk to you guys about. But uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we have The Queen's Gambit, which I actually filmed like way longer than a month ago because it's nine hours long, and I, uh, I watched it in like a day. So make sure you guys are tuning into that because that's going to be a really, 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 really fun review i really liked it so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i hope you guys are enjoying the channel if you again if you guys have anything at all you want you want me to review please feel free to drop it in the comments down below and also please subscribe um at the time of filming about a month from when this is coming out i have 72 uh if i can get to 100 that'd be insane uh we're getting closer and closer to my year goal 
if we can get my, to my year goal before the year's over, that'd be insane. But uh, that, that's going to do it for me today. As always, keep watching movies and television, stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.